New with Photoshop Elements 14 is a guided edit called Speed Effect. I'll demonstrate it using this photo of a skateboarder. The photographer managed to get such a nice sharp photo, but it seems a little sterile to me. So let's add a little excitement with some motion blur. At the top of the program, click on Guided. Then click on Fun Edits and scroll down and this is the one you want, the speed effect. Just click on that to enter that. And then as always, a guided edit will tell you exactly what to do. So here, number one says to click on the quick selection tool and then click and drag across the object you would like to add the speed effect to. Use the add or subtract buttons to refine your selection. So we'll click on the quick selection tool and I want to add the selection. This lets me adjust my brush size so let's bring it up a little bit and I can also use my left and right bracket keys. So I'm going to press my left bracket key a couple of times. Now let's just go ahead and select this fellow. I'm going to get his legs and his arms and the skateboard too. We want to get that in there. Now some of this I don't want so let's click on subtract. I don't want the building over here, so we'll take that away. And this center part I don't want. And also in here. Although you'll see in a moment, it's not gonna make a whole lot of difference once I actually add this effect. Right about like that is good. So let's go on to the next step. Step number two is to click on the add speed effect to apply the effect and then use the increase or decrease buttons to adjust the intensity of the effect. And use the angle control to change the angle of the effect. So I'll go ahead and click on add speed effect. And here are the buttons. I'm going to click on decrease and I'll keep clicking on that. And I get to a certain point and it won't decrease any further. So that's about as far as it will go. Now I want to click on this little angle right here and drag it in the direction that I want it to go. Let's see if we can get it to move. We want it to be at the same angle as him. So right around there looks good. Let's see if we can, maybe that's still a little bit too much. Let's bring it right about there. That's looking good. Now we're ready to click on the add focus area button and then click and drag over the area where you would like to remove the effect. So I'll click on add focus and I don't want it here in front, so I'm gonna click and drag here in front. And drag here. Maybe drag on him just a little bit. Don't really want it right there or right there. I do want it in the back. Now I want to use the Refine Effect Brush to very precisely paint on or off the effect. So I'll click on that. And this also gives me an Add and Subtract. I want to subtract and that's what's selected. This allows me to change the size and I'm gonna bring that up a ways. That looks good there and I'll bring the opacity down. Let's bring it down to around 20% and then I'm just going to brush over this area here. I just wanna get rid of some of that. And that's looking pretty good actually. So let's go ahead and click Next and this panel allows me to either save this right now or to continue editing in either quick edit or expert mode. It also lets me share to some other areas on the web, but I'm going to click on in expert. And now you can see that this is what was going on when I was working with this speed effect. So it was making a new layer, it was blurring it, it actually adds a layer mask. So if you are familiar with the expert mode and know how to use a mask, you can continue to edit this. Here's what this looks like without the motion blur, and here's what it looks like with it. So that's how to use the guided edit speed effect.